it was so much energy, so much positive energy in the room because everybody was excited to have the opportunity to work together on a new project that they haven't done before. Cause my baby, he done left this town. So this album was a little bit more of that bassy influence in terms of what we're doing. It's kind of uh, swinging in the pocket. Uh, it's really just finding a deep groove and going with that. It's very laid back. It's a little bit more riff oriented, which is nice. It shows off the soloists a little bit more. With the Count Basie vibe, uh, the emphasis is on that, that golden era rhythm section. You know, the golden standard is the Count Basie rhythm section. Even today, that's what everybody wants to sound like. We've got BK Khan on the drums, otherwise known as Braxton. Uh, BK's been with the band the longest now, besides myself. We've been playing leady kits um, from the late 1930s up until this point, and so we needed something that would give us that vintage sound, but yet be able to hold up to today's standards. So with that, we got the Northeast drum kit. Uh, it was a really sweet five-piece kit. We were able to get not just a 16-inch floor tom, but also a 20-inch floor tom to really kind of get that Gene Krupa kind of vibe going on. We just can't beat it and so we're so blessed that we were able to get that all just right before the recording session so that we could feature that. Our bassist Gary Sloan joined the band and those two together is, is like the dream team of rhythm section players. Uh, they really understand how to find that groove and really like the times to kind of push it and to pull it back. Uh, so it was really great to have them as the rock um, that we put everything upon. The next person that we brought in for the album was Greg Ruby. Greg's a really fantastic guitar player and a really great rhythm player. Uh, his time's really solid and he's always been very knowledgeable about the era of music that we're playing. And then Jeff Barnhart is like the gold standard of piano players for our group. Uh, he's really got that stride in the left hand. He knows when to not say things and when to say things and he just, his joy just carries us through. Um, I couldn't ask for a better pianist than Jeff. And so for that reason, I feel like this is our gold standard of what a rhythm section should sound like. We're really blessed in the fact that we get the opportunity to work with two regular Reeds players. Um, we have Andrew Vogt, who's doing a lot of our work in Colorado. And across the board, Andrew is just a monster on every reed instrument that he touches. Uh, so we really wanted to feature him. And then when we're on the road, we generally work with a gentleman named James Isaac from Kansas City. Um, James was introduced to us about a year and a half ago, and it's been a beautiful relationship since then. And we have the opportunity to showcase both Andrew and James on this album, which is, I think, the best of both worlds. The biggest change for us with this album is, is the introduction of a vocalist. I came across Jessie Carolina back in 2013. The authenticity of her voice and the originality, she's not trying to be anybody else, that to me just really drew me in. in that I never thought I'd get the opportunity to work with her, but I just really loved the sound that she had, uh, it, like to the point where it brought me to tears. And she reached out to me and said that she was moving from New York to LA and that she wanted to work together. And it was just like, it just fell in my lap and I had to take it. And uh, we've been doing work together ever since then. Uh, and it's, it's amazing how it turned out. everything that's light and gay. 
With this album, it's kind of a moment of reflection of everything, you know, gained and lost in life and, and where you want things to go. I'll be looking at the moon, but I'll be